It was our first day of kindergarten. We both had brown eyes, brown hair, and our first names both started with the letter M. At a very young age, we knew that we were supposed to be best friends. I want to share with you about my friend Mally and our fr special friendship that I treasure and appreciate more and more as I grow up. We did not take the word best friend lightly. We would call each other before school in the morning to coordinate our outfits. And we, if I got a toy, then Mally would get a toy. And we even had our first spin night together. And it was even on a school night. Some of us got sick overnight, and we told our parents that we just could not go to school the next day. Can you believe they fell for it? <laughs> we got in other types of trouble, too. And when we would get in trouble, we would just pack our bags, make a big dramatic scene, and then walk across the street to each other's houses. Eventually, our parents caught on. But we were the troublesome, too. And to us, that's what best friends were for, someone to get in trouble with. But we started growing up. We raided our parent mother's makeup cabinets, and we even experimented with blue eye contacts. <laughs> and we begged and begged and begged our moms to dye our hair. Our persistence paid off, and we became blondes. Um, but <laughs> for the first time, Mally and I started to be concerned about what other people thought of us outside of our best friend group. And this was... Uh, Sorry. Um, and so, uh, ugh, okay. <laughs> but uh, we, we were, we were, we, while we didn't change our first name, we did everything we could to change who we were. And this is more than just our outward appearance. We changed inside too. And that's because Mally and I experienced hardships together. We experienced divorce, death, moving away from childhood homes. We experienced exclusion from friends and heartbreak from boys. And this hardened us, and we became more resentful and more rebellious. And we became, uh, and more than anything, we became insecure. And we experienced this brokenness, and we started to drift apart. We had promised each other that we were going to go to college together in Alabama and become best friends and college roommates. But uh, by the time graduation came along, um, we chose different paths. We went from talking every day to once a week to once every few months. And while we had a great experience in college, our senior year came around, and one of our biggest regrets was not maintaining the friendship that we once had. And so it was this regret that led us to reach out to each other again. And we realized how important and meaningful we were in each other's lives. And we learned that our friendship can withstand the challenges of growing up and can withstand the test of time. And more importantly, we, became, we came to understand the meaning of a best friend. It's, someone, it's more than just someone who you can fake sick with or experiment with makeup. Um, it's someone that sticks together with you through the good times and the bad times. And a best friend is a singular, it's not plural, which means that there's only one of these people really in your life. And if there's a best friend that you have that you've disconnected with, what's stopping you from reaching out? I'm so thankful that I did reach out with Mally, and I'm thankful for our friendship that I have in the Thank you.